Man, like all this coronavirus stuff sucks. Am I right, Scooby? Yes, everywhere is closed. Food is limited, and the whole world is in a state of fear and paranoia. I hope it ends soon. Like what the heck was that about? We better go see what's going on. Oh, my, God. Fred, what on earth did you do? I don't know. What does it look like? I just drove the freaking van into the house because I just tried to go to the bar, only to find out that they're closed indefinitely because of this stupid coronavirus nonsense. I've been going to the bar all the time for years, and now you're telling me I can't go there anymore? This is absolute bullcrap. Now I have nothing fun to do. Fred, just because you're mad about that didn't mean you had to drive the van into the house. It is absolutely insane what you just did. Still not as insane as the bar owners for closing it. Now I'm off to watch some TV because it's the only thing I have left to do that has a slight chance of being entertaining. Oh my god Fred, are you serious right now? You're just going to leave all of this here and walk away like nothing happened? The van is smoking, what if it blows up? Then that will be quite entertaining and cheer me up, even more so if you blow up along with it. Now shut up or else I'm going to put car airbags under you while you are asleep tonight, activate them, and make you hit the ceiling. What a specific threat. Yeah, well I have to do something with them you know. Wait, why do you even have car airbags laying around? Well, I got so mad at the bar owner for closing the place down that I stole the airbags out of his car to increase his chances of dying should he get in a car crash. Get help. Okay, I will. Hi, my name is Help. How may I assist you today? Ugh, there's nothing good on. I'm seriously about to die of boredom. Breaking news, the coronavirus was all a hoax. It was set up by the government so they could put new batteries in the birds. That's why you should come to our carnival, we have all the attractions you need to celebrate. We have a magic show, a ferris wheel, and a bunch of other rides as well as delicious food. And what's best, it only costs $9,000 per ticket to get in. Holy crap guys, are you hearing this? The virus was all fake, and there's an awesome sounding carnival happening to celebrate it. Fred, are you really that dumb? This sounds like a highly illegal deceptive advertisement. The virus is in no way fake. Shut up Velma, you just don't want to go in so you're making excuses. Anyways, since I can't go to the bar anymore, why don't we all go have some fun at this carnival instead? Sounds awesome to me. Yeah, me too. Like me three. One thing though Fred, I thought I heard the commercial say it cost $9,000 per ticket. And don't you hate spending money? Oh, believe me. I've got a highly sophisticated plan to get in for free. Now come on everyone, let's not waste any more time and get going. Alright, since the mystery machine blew up I rented us another van. But Fred, like this is a delivery truck man. Are there even enough seats in it for us? No, of course not. There's only one seat and that's the driver's seat. You guys will just have to sit on the floor in the back and hope I don't drive too recklessly. Also, it's a little rusty back there, so try not to get tetanus. Fred, is this a joke or something? Not only is what you just mentioned illegal, if we get into a crash in this thing, we'll all go flying towards the front and probably break our necks. Yeah. Velma's right. This is extremely dangerous and stupid. Where did you even get this thing anyway? Why couldn't you have just rented us a normal car like a rational, sane human being? Okay, everybody shut up. I rented this from the local junkyard for 5 bucks because I wasn't about to go to a real car rental place and waste a ton of money just to drive a crappy four-cylinder sedan for the day. Fred, I can guarantee you that this old rusty delivery van is way crappier than anything at the real car rental place. At least the four-cylinder sedan you speak of would have seats in a solid body and would actually be safe to ride in. Alright Scooby, number one, you don't even have a seat in the mystery machine, so why do you give a crap about the seats? And second, 
If you don't shut up right now, I'm going to turn your Scooby Snacks into LSD edibles to make you trip out like crazy. Wait, really? Yes, really. I won't shut up, I'm going to talk, talk, talk forever, you will have to kill me to get me to shut up, blah, blah, blah. For the love of God, just shut up. Now come on everyone, let's actually get going instead of yelling at each other on the sidewalk all day. I don't like this one bit. One hour later. Well, we're almost there now. I can see the carnival up ahead. Thank the Lord. This has to be the absolute worst trip I have ever had in a motor vehicle. Like Fred, come to think of it, what's your plan for getting in for free that you said you had? Oh, you're about to see. Well, I think the ticket guy's dead now, so we can just walk right in. Fred, have you absolutely lost it? You literally just killed someone and you're laughing about it. <laughs> Alright, now that we're in, we should head over to the magic show. I saw a sign when we walked in that said it would be starting in about 15 minutes. Like sounds good. I can't wait to see it. Hey, you four in the front. Who? Us. Yes, you. You're not allowed to have dogs in this carnival at all let alone bring one into this show. Either one of you needs to take the dog someplace else or you all need to leave. Hey, I'll have you know I'm not like other dogs. I can talk and I have the intellect of a human. Therefore, I should be able to stay in here just like everyone else. Listen dog, I don't care how smart you are, rules are rules and you still need to leave. And by the way, how did you even manage to get into the carnival in the first place without being stopped by the ticket person? Oh, my man Fred over here drove a delivery van- Alright Scooby, that's enough. You heard the guy, get the heck out of the carnival or else the rest of us can't stay. Like this is ridiculous. Scooby's not going to cause any harm. Why can't he stay here with us? Sir, it's just the rules. There's no point in arguing against it. The dog must go, and that is final. Like it's just the rules isn't going to cut it. There's no reason Scoob shouldn't be allowed to see this show or be in the carnival. Shaggy, shut up. You're not going to change the rules of this place by arguing. I want to see this freaking show already, so if you and Scooby don't like the rules here, then just leave and stop causing a scene. Fine, like that's what we'll do then. This is bullcrap. God, what an annoying idiot. Well this really sucks. I can't believe they kicked me out just because I am a dog. Tell me about it. You know Scoob, I'm starting to feel the need for revenge. I want to expose one of this magician's tricks and ruin the magic show as well as his reputation. I don't know, that might be going a bit too far, don't you think? No I don't. Like you don't have to help me, but I'm gonna do this just to make myself feel better. Shaggy, wait! Wait, is that Shaggy? And as you can see, I am levitating this dollar bill using only my bare hands. Shaggy, what on earth are you doing? Yo yo like what's popping everybody. Wanna see something interesting? Like let's see what's in his pocket. Like what you look at this. He lied when he said he was only using his hands to levitate the dollar. He was actually using straws behind his back to create static electricity and make the build float. No magic to see here, just simple science. Aww. Wait, all of you. Come back. What the f Well, you have really done it now. I'm going to report what just happened to the staff and have you and the rest of your party escorted out of the carnival. First you bring a dog into the place, and now this. Unbelievable. Wait, no. Not us too. He's a freaking idiot, and none of us knew he was going to do this. That doesn't matter. Besides, you all knowingly brought a dog into the carnival to begin with. I think I have had quite enough of all of you. Come on, please. We literally just got here. You can't have us kicked out. I can, and I'm going to.
You know what? I'm not even going to give you a concussion. Wait, really? Yup. After all, it wouldn't even do anything. You'd just regain consciousness and keep doing stupid crap like this. That's why instead of giving you a concussion, I'm going to lock you in my closet until you starve to death. Hey, we're here to escort you all out of this place. Alright, let's go. Alright, now that you're in the closet, I'm gonna board you in with some 2x4s and screws. Like Fred, are you sure that's necessary? <laughs> well crap. Looks like I really am gonna start to death in here. Oh crap Shaggy, I just remembered there was a bag of food in there that I forgot to take out. Oh well, you can have it if you want. Like there's food in here. Where? You see that circular thing on the floor with a white bag stuffed into it? There's food in there. Um, Fred, like isn't this the airbag you said you stole from the borrowed car? No, of course not. Does it look like it has air in it? Well, no, but- Then it's not an airbag. Airbags are called airbags for a reason you know. I promise you it's a food bag with Doritos and a McDonald's hamburger in it. Like alright then. Oh, and by the way, you need to open it in a very specific way. You have to jump up as high as you can and stomp on it. Otherwise, it'll be too tough to open. Okay, here goes. Time to go to bed. Wait Fred like I really need food man. I've never gone this long without eating before and I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Like could you at least bring me some chips or something? Shaggy, are you freaking serious? As of now you've only skipped one dinner, so the fact that you feel like you're gonna pass out just shows how addicted to food you really are. And no, I cannot bring you any chips. The whole point of this was to make you starve to death, remember? Like I really don't care at this point. I need food and I'm not going to shut up until you bring some to me. I'm gonna scream air over and over. Alright, well if that's how it's gonna be, I'm going to get out my super loud giant Bluetooth speaker and drown you out. Shaggy seems to have been really quiet lately. I guess I'll check and see if he's dead yet. Hey, looks like he is. 